<laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> All right, between each one of those sounds, you close your lips. Yes. A, B, C. No, you're not closing your lips between each one. I'm stopping. I'm not. Oh, you mean I should? You should. Oh, yes. Right okay. now. A, B, C. Let the air go in. C, B. Now, lengthen them out a little bit. A. That's it. B. Close your lips. C. <laughs> Let the air go in through your nose. E. F. G. H. I. J. K. Now this goes on up here. L. M. In. Take air in between each one. You're sneaking around. You aren't doing it. O. Now hang on to them. Say O P again. O. Now close your lips. Now hang on to that P. P. Now close your lips. Take in the air. Q. R. I can breathe through my nose. Yes. <laughs> yes. Kind of interesting, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I've never done that. <laughs> well, I'm sure you haven't. Probably nobody else in this room has either. T. T. <clears throat> yeah. S. T. U. V. W. X. Y. Z. Now, what did you, how was that? Very different. Different how? I've, um, I'm breathing through the back passage, the back nasal cavity, but I've never, I've never breathed through that while I've been speaking or while I've been playing. I've always taken there through the mouth. Yes. Always yeah. like that. And, and when I play um, and take a quick, it doesn't happen quite as much since I've started the technique, but I would always get that very tight. All right, breathing. and that's the thing that interferes with the opening and the use of your whole respiratory mechanism and all your voice apparatus that's in here. Yes. You check a little thing like that, and your head always goes back. But I'm feeling that, that go up through the nose and up right down through the back of the throat. They say that's what our noses are for. <laughs> it was breathing. You know, you could yeah. see that, that there was see a whole that? other dimension available for you to use. Uh -huh. See that for sure. There's no. two ways to get to Kangaroo Valley from Mittagong. You can go by Moss Bay or Bower. Wait a minute. If I'm going there, I can't get that all in my head at once. Now, all I got, there were two ways. <laughs> now, which is the first way? Firstly, you can go via Bowerville, or secondly, you can go via Moss Vale. Oh, that now, I heard that. Yes. Of course, I don't know where those places are, so I'm still lost, but that's all right. You've got a map. <laughs> So, so it doesn't matter which way you go, but either way you'll come to the Kangaroo Valley Bridge. You'll know it because it's a very old-fashioned stone bridge made out of sandstone, very distinctive. And when you get to the bridge, you cross over the bridge. Wait a minute, I want to be sure. I'm going to get to this bridge, and then what am I going to do? You go straight across the bridge. Oh, straight across the bridge, all right. And, and you continue along the main road and you cross another smaller creek. The bridge crosses the Kangaroo Creek. There's another much smaller creek, just about, I think about 100 yards along the main road. Now, wait a minute. These people want to hear some of it, too. So after you've, after you've crossed the second creek, you take the first turning on your right. Wow. I don't all go there. I'm very popular. <laughs> it's private property. 
Oh. You know you've got the right corner because there's a sign on the corner saying Woolshed Dance. And the road is the road on which on your map you take it from Mount Stanley. So you follow along down this road. And now wait a minute. That's a nice little phrase. You follow along down this road. That's a nice place for you to close your lips and get a little bit of air. Say that sentence again. So you follow your way along down this road. And Wait a minute, close your lips. <laughs> now leave your lips close till the air goes in and then tell us the next thing. And what you've got to look for now is a sign that will, or it's a turn off and it will be on your left. And it's, Wait a minute, it's, be on your left, close your lips. And it's, it's the road that goes up to Mount Scanzi. Now you're not actually going to take this road, but you need to locate it in order to find the property. So when you get to the, to the turning on the left that says Mount Scanzi, you're almost there. And there's a horse ranch on the, just on the left there somewhere. So once you've seen that, that sign to Mount Scanzi, you have to keep your eyes pierced, peered very carefully on the right because the property is on the right hand side. Now how many times in that long direction did you take Aaron through your mouth? <coughs> oh. I didn't count them. Did anybody? All right, now go on. And the property is just on your right hand side. Feels funny, doesn't it, to do that? Take air in through your nose. But what happens to her talking? Um, yes, it's more comfortable. And, and what I think I'm trying to do is see it. You're trying to what? See it, you see. Because you, when you sing, you breathe through your mouth. Oh, you can... Try to get as much out as in one breath. <laughs> can you hear her? All right, now, remember, take a look around at your audience. See, every time you're going to perform for any, in any place at all, you take a look around, see the situation, your audience, and then decide how you're going to use your voice to reach to the farthest corner of where people are. That's just being polite to your audience because everybody wants to hear what you say. There was movement at the station for the word had passed around that the cult from old regret had got away. The wind went close your lips. Oops that the colt from old regret had got away and had joined the wild bush horses. He was worth a thousand pounds, so all the cracks had gathered to the fray. All the tried and noted riders from the stations near and far had mustered at the homestead overnight. Now let this all move up. <laughs> now go on. For well, the bushmen love hard riding where the wild bush horses are, and the stock horse sniffs the battle with delight. There was Harrison, who made his pile when Pardon won the cup, the old man with his hair as white as snow. Close your lips. Whoops. <laughs> Yet you could ride. Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. Close your lips and take, or not your eyes. <laughs> Do you know where your lips are? <laughs>
Now take the musicians for, uh, for example. Uh, they find out that as they develop this ease and freedom, the quality of the music changes very definitely. It has a clearer tone. There's a freedom that people enjoy listening to. The dancers find out the same thing when they're dancing. They have more ease and flexibility, and they become more graceful. I have lots of people in the performing arts come to me because they are so active in their professions, the singers, the dancers, people in sports. They're using their bodies to such a great extent that if they have developed some habits that are putting excess pressure on their bodies, then they're wasting a lot of energy. And when they can recognize that and then take the responsibility that the Alexander Technique offers for observing and understanding what the technique can do for them, then in the final analysis, they're the one who have to make use of this information. I just, I want to watch you a minute. Go ahead. Hmm? All right. Now let's stop for a minute. What do you notice about yourself? Hold on. Well, I think you have a wonderful time doing that. <laughs> So, supposing as you bring your instrument up to play, you follow my hands a little bit in this direction. Now bring your instrument up. It's all right, bring it up. Now as you bring it up there and get yourself ready, what should happen? All of your body should be moving up and a tiny bit forward instead of back this way and down. All right, I'll put it down a minute. Did you sense the difference yes, there? Yes, yes. All string people do that. As they bring their instrument up, most everybody drops back that way. That takes away the whole support of your body. Mm -hmm. so you get, you're losing the support of your, of your uh, body to hold your instrument. So as you come up, a little bit of ease here. Your whole body moves on up this way as you put your instrument where you want it. Now, your body continues to move a little bit in the direction my hands are suggesting as you play. And let's see what that does for you.
much does that bother you? Um, I can't move. You I can't. feel like my legs are... You can't move? Yeah. You can't move where? From here. I, I have this... I feel like I want to move whilst I'm playing off of the... You I can. Think, I'm thinking, like when you had your hand on me, I felt like I could move. Then. I know. Yeah. But you can move, and I'll just show you how you can move. You're moving to put your violin up, aren't you? Is that a viola? Violin. What's a violin? How up you go here. Now, does that feel make you feel as if you can't move? Oh, it's freaking out. <laughs> you're, <laughs> you're, you're moving in a little different way. I'm not letting you do this. See, you want to move that way. And I'm suggesting you move in so that you are supporting your body, your body supporting. Now you move wherever you want to, but I'm not going to let you pull back here. I'll follow you or else get out of your way. Bother she does this. <laughs> what does that feel like? Somebody's got hold of my bow. I'm like, <laughs> All right. What I was doing was giving you a little more freedom. <laughs> See what you what you're doing right through this part of your body. You're curling yourself in this way. Yeah. You're hugging yourself. And that's dropping your chest, interfering with your breathing. So when I help you here, you watch this. Now put your violin up and play. And if I do a little thing you don't like, well, do it anyhow. change because you're supposed to be moving your head, not thinking about something back here. Did you get that point? See, let's, let's, let me help you see if we can't straighten that out. See? Now, if you decide to move your head, 
it's going to move a little bit. Now I can't, I can't budge it because you're tightening your neck. Now look down toward the floor. Go on, look, tilt your head. Tilt it, move your head, tilt it, tilt it. Well, that's dropping it though to me. That's not, I, yes, all right, that's your trouble. That's not dropping your head, that's your head moving up and then tilting a little bit forward. And the reason I kept having you drop it farther forward because you still had the tension in it. Yeah. So, now, you see, this, is, this will help you because it, cho it shows you that you're going by your old feelings. Mm. See? Mm. And how I understand the meaning of the words. That's is right. Really hard, like that, what I understand is the meaning of what you're saying. That's right. So, so I have to know what you're thinking about in order to help you. Do you see that? Mm. Otherwise, you could do that today and tomorrow. And so doing this, going as low as that, is that not squeezing my discs in any way? They're not, all not necessarily... Not, un not unless you pull down. Right, so if I'm coming, when I want to go as low as that, I've got to really be thinking of going up at the same time. Wait a minute, yes, but you you are not doing what you're saying. No. You're hanging on to all your old habits, see? This is good for you. You'll learn a lot this afternoon. Now, when my hands come here, they take you up there a little bit. Could you see, sense that? I could feel that, yeah. All right, now I'm asking you to tilt your head. So follow my hands. There you are. Now look up. Now look up to the ceiling. Now just look over there at Linda. Now what does that feel like? Now, now there's some freedom in your neck. See that? So this shows you, you better be interested in watching your thinking and you, that you do what you're thinking about rather than trying to feel what's happening. Right, okay. Because oh, you do get caught up in the feelings. Cause it... That's right, and most of us do. That's why when we walk this way, when we walk that way, that's our habit of life. And we don't want to give that up. I can. See, I think you've learned a lot, haven't you? Yeah, that's right. And you want to release tension throughout your whole body. You start thinking of your head as a one whole thing. Now, why do I say that? You're frowning. <laughs> I'm real serious. I hope you know it. <laughs> yes, because our young friend here says she stopped thinking about where? Chin. She stopped thinking about her chin today. Well, that's wonderful. But now she's thinking about her ears. <laughs> So she thinks her head's going to move somewhere around her ears here. Now that's not where her head begins to move, is it? Where does her head? Somebody tell me what you know about where your head begins to move. It's wherever your head is resting on the top of your spine, isn't it? So it's inside of your head someplace. So you just think of your whole head and then you're thinking of the inside and the outside, and the right and the left and the up and the down, and all the angles. See, so it's a whole head. Now this whole head, wait a minute, moves delicately just a tiny bit as you think about it. Now you tell me what you're thinking about. You weren't thinking? No. All right. Now, should I help her if she, after what I said? She doesn't do any thinking, or shall I tell her to go sit down? You see, that's my problem. See the problems? <laughs> see the pro <laughs> Do you see the problems you create for me? Now, if I don't help her, she's going to be real annoyed with me. She said, I didn't get my turn. <laughs> So if I'm kind enough here to stay and help her, she's had one chance 
and she's not going to get another one. But now when I, my hands come up here, what should you be thinking of? My head, forward and up. Yes. Now, after you think about it, what do you do? You move it, because I am not going to move it. All right, now she's moving a little bit. Now, wait a minute. She's way down here stiffening her legs. And there's a lot of stuff between her head and her legs. So all this stuff in the middle, she's forgotten about. See? So now, if she's thinking of her whole head, she has to think of this stuff all through here. At your insides and your outsides, and you can call it your torso, you can call it your body, uh, but that's all. Can't call it anything else. So she has to say, uh, my job is to move my head a little bit in an upper direction to let my body follow it in order to take a walk. And she did very well with it. How does that seem to you? That's the best walking I've seen you do. But don't look at me out of the corner of your eyes. Turn your head and look at me. <laughs> now, did you all learn something from that? All right. That's good. I'll quiz you on that tomorrow. <laughs>